what I'm doing right now, as you can see, is a test video. And of course, I'm not a member of GameSpy, so no. Of course, this is Dungeons and Dragons Daggerdale. And yes, I will be doing a future Let's Play of this game. So, as you can see, these are all the characters that you are see coming up front. And, um, if you've never played Daggerdale, And let me tell you, it is one of the best D&D games I've, ac I've actually ever played and beaten. Because I have this on the 360. And, um... You know, I had, I had to say, it is a very, very good game. So... I'm actually going to show you my character... Or actually, my um, sample character I'm using for the for my um, sampler. He's a level one human fighter, which I dub him Arslan the Brave. He has fairly decent stats. To where it counts the most, namely his strength constitution and dexterity no not all up there for intelligence wisdom and charisma but that can change an armor class of 12 and magic defense of 13 I played this earlier last night and um as you can see yeah 849 <laughs> last night I actually played a bit of it. So I just want to make a little sample video of what I will actually do in the actual let's play of it. Oh, greetings. My name is Garbo Sivatung, Savant of Master Payton. What's that? You're on a mission to conquer the Tower of the Void? I'll arrange for you to speak to Master Pat Maxton if you truly want to challenge Wazelis. I'm sure you two will have plenty to talk about. So, of course, you as whoever your character is. Namely, you can actually get you can actually get a lot of gold when you technically break barrels, because you not only get to fight um, various monsters, but you also get to go through various missions, gaining new equipment, powering yourself up, your stats, and everything else. So here's Master pa Paxton. Mm. Yes, Mr. Tower! <laughs> I appreciate your insanity. Mm. The only entrance is through the Grand Gates. Mm. I'd help you through, but I have workers revolt to deal with. Oh, workers were revolt to deal with. Mm. We came here to return the mine to Dwarven Hands. Mm. Oh, can we restore our legacy if we can fend off some filthy goblins? Mm -hmm. Help our people get back to work and we'll get you into that tower. Mm -hmm. Head to the heart of Gladstone and speak to SR, the union leader of the mine. Okay, so what we do is... We go where the arrow is leading us. Namely, we go all the way up here. And 
these crowded dwarves. We go right here. Over there is the dwarven cleric if you want to get your HP back up to max. So, yeah, let me just get into a get into a mission here. Let me guess. Paxton sent you here to convince us to work? Typical. The goblins have plundered our mine and terrorized us at every turn. How can we work not knowing if we'll survive one day to the next? If you need to if you need the grand gates open then our goals are aligned. Help us wipe out restless goblins. We will be forever in your debt. That is my oath to you. Yeah, I kind of set things up to, like, um, medium instead of, like, maximum. I'm not sure how it's going to end up. But I'm pretty sure it looks, it looks all right. So, what we do is... The game auto saves, by the way. So, we go up here... A bit slow, but you know. It's alright. No problems here. So we move on to the shafts. Which basically we go around like so. Turn this like so. Right button, of course, draws up your defense or pulls up your shield. A is basically the attack button. Let's see. X, basically, your sidearm. B, of course, is your potions. Now, what I did to this character was... I gave him the power of the Mega Arm, just to throw things at a farther rate. You can get better, um... can get better equipment. Like this correct armor that I got. If you're playing with a... If you're playing with a gamepad, press select to pull up your, um... equipment. And as you see, I got the... I got a correct dagger of the fallen, a crackling... a, a correct crackling dagger, my crackling going on. A Kopesh, which I got earlier in the uh, in the tutorial dungeon. A battle axe, which I'm using as a sidearm. For armor, I have a cloth helm, the cracked cloth armor neutralization, and the cracked helmet of the pact. I have nothing for jewelry, but seven potions of healing and one elixir of the giant strength, which brings four bonus to strength, temporarily. And that's it. Anything else, I use my shoulder buttons. Or rather, my other shoulder button, which is my R2 button. And that will bring up my character's um, powers, feats, Strength. I mean, my abilities, and what he's, and what his, his proficiencies are. So of course you see, I have four stacked in strength, two in con constitution, two in dexterity. Nothing in intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. The feats that I gave my character, which is far throw. 
which means that <laughs> whenever I throw, whenever I use thrown weapons, they increase by 20%. Oh, and one-handed blade weapon expertise, which means I can get a plus one feet bonus to attack rolls of any weapon that that I need to use for one bladed for one bladed weapons. Same thing for two two-handed. Deep gash, toughness, far shot. That is if I want really wanted to use bows or crossbows, something like that, but I feel using axes and hammers are decent for me. If I was something other than what I am, like an elven rogue or a halfling wizard or maybe a, a dwarven cleric, totally, totally different. <clears throat> now you can get more, and the more, and the more feats you you actually check off, the better you, the better you become. So therefore, see, there's the two-handed blade weapon expertise. You can also use axes. So therefore, like if you're using, if you're wielding an axe, you get more power. You get a plus one bonus for that. Same for a, a same for a blunt weapon, a thrown weapon, crossbows, all that good stuff like that there. And um, and of course, by pressing L. And well, R2, you can also show what your map, where your map is, and of course, by using a map, you can actually find out where your objectives are. So it's a fairly good thing. Plus, it is a very good thing when you have two people because this is, <coughs> excuse me, a multiplayer game. So let's just do a. Let's just do a quick um, mission, shall we? Just for uh, you know, this is just to show you what I may do in a not so near future. So what we do here is we break this mine shaft like this. You have to break eight of them. So when I actually do do the game, there are achievements in this game, but I've taken care of one, which is basically you getting the Tethamar. Tethamar. Yeah, Tethamar. When I actually get to the actual game, stop it. Thank you, Potion of Healing. So when I actually do the actual game, I will do more um, missions like this. But they will have something in my in. It won't always be like this. Oh, and R2, um, or the right stick. Actually, yes, the right stick Right stick actually adjust the camera. You with the sh you with the bow and arrow, stop it. But thank you for the potion of healing. I will take that. The smart thing to do is, if you feel yourself getting low, 
the smart thing to do is go here not go here but let's see right here I believe that is if you feel like you are losing health just go back in here like so and see the Dwarven Cleric and he will heal your wounds Now I'm pretty sure when I actually do the game, probably one or two achievements will be unlocked. Because it's not just the only place that I'm, you know, this is where you're going to start off at, but there are plenty more areas besides the mines in which our hero will actually be, um, going through. As it's just to prove a point, yeah, I can pull it off. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm destroying your shit. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sorry about destroying your shit. I would gladly take your spoils, and who the fuck is shit? Oh, you little bastard. I already have a name in mind. I'm going to use the actual name I used when I was playing it on, on the 360. I will not tell you who it is. And you can guess it if you want to. I will most likely make up a story about this character anyway. Dungeons and Dragons is really good for that, just to make up a good story. Oh, if you want to pull that off, you can do that too. You just have to press L2 and say A. You can charge it in. Boom, just like that. Those are your extra skills that you can actually use throughout the um, throughout the rest of the, throughout the rest of the game. They do get stronger over time. So for what it's worth, yes, it is worth, it is, it is rather good. As always, good to remember, use your potions of healing when necessary. They too get stronger over time. 
So we're gonna take care of these two, these two last goblin shafts here. I'm gonna use this and wipe them out too. Oh no 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 you started it no you finish it bitch So we take care of this mine shaft like so charge it up and get another swing going Mission completed. Now all we have to do is return. To SR. Talk to him. And. Get our reward. I can't talk to him yet, but you will have a chance to talk to him so you can buy equipment if you so choose to. And we talk to SR. Mm -hmm. We you are liars. Our people can work in peace. Mm. But how long to resist fools attack again? I pray Maureen protect your very bones. Mm. For our sake. So with that, gain a little. So we get new items, weapons, and such and such, and of course, with that, you can also give your character some new powers. Like what I already have is Shield Bash, I put two points into that, there. Shield Bash is now maxed out. Next one I'm going to work on is Knee Breaker. Why should leave the screen? It's, that's fine. I wasn't done anyway. Another thing you can do is put a point here, so I'm going to put a point into... Uh, toughness. Toughness means when you take this feat, you gain 15 more, 15% 15 more hit points per level. That's a definite okay. Next, yes, that's fine. Next is yes, new ability port, new ability score. You can only do this every even time, like two, four, six, eight, ten, ten being the max. So therefore. Use your points wisely. I'm going to put some points into what matters the most, namely st strength and constitution. That's fine. So namely, as you can see there, 
my character has a little boost in health as well as him being a little bit stronger but of course this of course is my sample character because like I said I plan to actually LP this I don't know how soon or when but it'll be most likely before I take my break so uh, there thought I'd give you a little sample video of what I'm going to do in the not so distant future so I have been the Tenkaichi of Gaming Pookie Izzy 7 and please feel free to comment like and or subscribe tell me your thoughts do you I mean you want to see an LP of this because I, I already said I'm going to make an LP of it but I want to hear what you guys think so until then take care God bless, and of course, Tenkai Musou!